Hey guys, if you have not subscribed our channel please subscribe. And click on the bell icon, so you may get notifications and updates. Hello and welcome back to this channel. In this video, I would like to explain you about the daily verification of Vita scales or analytical balances. If you don't know about the weighing scales, let me show you. Weighing balance. This equipment used for measuring dehydrated the medium and buffer solution solutes or solvents. Meaning, this helps to weigh solutes, dehydrated media and chemicals for the preparation of buffer solutions, normal saline, and media preparation. Personally, I would like to suggest these kind of electronic balance for the micro lab, as these are easy to handle and weigh. Calibration on suggested frequency and verification on daily basis is important for each equipment of quality lab or microbiology lab. Weighing balance or electronic scales are verified on daily basis before starting of work, with the help of calibrated weights. Weighing scales are essential instrument for microbiology lab, quality control lab and some production areas. It is also very useful, but for microbiology lab, we use it for media preparation, buffer preparation and also for sampling purpose. So we calibrate analytical balance uh, on yearly or as per frequency from outsource agency as but the internal verification on decided frequency is also very important in industries or lab. For this purpose we use this calibrated box that is calibrated weighing box. Let me show you the sizes of different weight. This one is 100 gram. And these are 50 grams and 20 grams. Other than grams, there are also milligrams available. This one is 5 gram. This one is 2 gram. This box is also calibrated from outsource agencies. So we do uh, our daily verification of analytical balance with this calibrated box. This one is one gram. And these weights are in milligrams. As you can see in silver clips, these are small milligrams. Let me show you the dummy verification of uh, analytical balance. First we tear it and make it uh, into zero digit. This is my data sheet and I will explain you in detail on the end of this video. The sheet is to write down the observation of results and it must be on limits. If uh, I will get the result of 10 mg so I will write down like this. Let me show you for 100 mg and for others. So I tear first and put the weight on wing scale. And wait for a few seconds until I reach the results. And then write down the results on sheet and definitely compare with the limits. For 200 mg I do the same. I observe the result and write it down on the sheet in front of 200 mg. It's a 1 gram as you can see. For 1 gram, I will tear the analytical balance first. And then put the weight on weighing scale. Slide the door carefully of analytical balance and read the results. Now writing down the results. Always close the window slides of your analytical balance so you will get the accurate results and also check 
Also check the circle on a screen that will show you the bubble is on center. This is for 10 gram. And this one is for 100 grams. There is a bubble on your left side or the back side of your analytical balance and it is a sign of accuracy of your results in digits. So everything has written on sheet and the result complies but let me show you about uh, how you write down the report and the results. So th there is must be a logbook for the analytical balance on behalf of uh, daily verification and you must do the tag on the logbook so it will be identified okay so here is a tag and let me show you the sheet how I made a sheet for analytical balance let me tell you that everything needs a tag that is a tag for calibration so it's a heading of daily verification record and this one is the equipment name that is balance and the balance is electronic so I write it down as it is this one is a date uh, date column this is a standard weights that is available in our lab and uh, you can make it make the sheet as per your lab requirement so this one is for date your date column this one is for weight column that these are standard weights these are observed weights and these are observed weights and these must be under limit and these are limits selected by us as per our analytical balance the next one is the remarks column you can write it down even your results fail you can write it down and the next and the last one is your sign your sign is also very important on the sheet because another person may know that who has done the verification after completion of the data or monthly data you have to sign it down with your manager or your head because he must know or she must know that you are doing your work on daily basis or either it is a result these results are false or not so here is a limit for you note these limits if you need for your lab or for your worksheet keeping your record is also very important for microbiology lab or any other lab but we are talking about microbiology lab so i must mention all things related to microbiology lab keep supporting and share this channel with your friends who are working or are students and want to do a job in future so it will really help them